with respect to the relationship between fact and value, between is and ought, we are faced with three options. Un, dos, tres. One, value reductionism. Values exist somewhere in the world of fact. There are only two options, either is or is not. And values are either part of what is or part of what is not. If we think we are going to have difficulty explaining and predicting events in the physical world without value terms, then the only option is that a value term refers to something that is. Value eliminativism. That's the second option. Values are a part of what is not. Values do not exist. There is no value that is a part of any reasonable explanation for my writing this article. There are just a bunch of quarks bouncing off of each other, some of them, for example, causing my fingers to bounce off a keyboard. We can eliminate all talk of value and delegate it to the realm of myth, like our talk of Pegasus and Zeus. When we look inside ourselves to determine the value of things, we are looking at something that we make up, something in the realm of let's pretend. Third option would be fact slash value is slash ought, dualism. Whatever values or oughts are, they exist in a realm distinct from fact, and yet have an amazing ability to interact with it. Somehow these values, which are not facts, can alter the flow of material in the physical world, causing actions that would not have otherwise happened. Somehow, some non-fact entity called value at this very moment causing me to write this article. And yet, this entity exists nowhere in the world of fact. Of these options, number three is the only option that is compatible with the traditional interpretation of a hard fact slash value or is slash ought distinction. Yet, three is much more problematic than one. Particularly if we have a one available, where we have a NIS statement that seems to be able to play the same logical role as an ought statement, a fact proposition that seems indistinguishable from a value proposition capable of operating in the real world and influencing real world events. To accept Hume is slash ought distinction as law is to accept fact slash value dualism as proved. And that, my friends, is a very, very difficult conclusion to accept. So I hope this uh, has helped you to make sense of what is at stake, to give yourself and to uh, arm yourself with an um, argument to debunk that is odd distinction that is not by any means axiomatic. You can surpass that problem. Hume was asking for an answer, and we've just given one to him and to everybody that seems to think that the only way that can be is by maintaining the validity of the is odd dichotomy by totally rejecting ethics as a non-cognitivist area or others building their ethical systems over faulty premises like the is art dichotomy. Be cool and keep your philosophical canons clean.